Oakley Doakley. So this is what I need testers for, as I mentioned in the post. Um, I'm a person who likes to have his stuff tagged, and therefore, I found a website, the television or the TVDB.com, that has a nice, friendly API for me to hook up to and find information about TV shows. Um, anyways, so as you can see, I clicked on Media File Sync, and I'm heading the direction of where my files are stored drilling down. I keep everything in hierarchical order because well I'm just not used to being able to tag things. So I'm just gonna hop into a directory. I don't know what do we got here. Let's say Stargate Atlantis. Okay. We've got different seasons laid out here. Some have already been labeled. I'm gonna jump into this season. Uh, and so we're gonna choose an episode. It already has some images associated. The script that I wrote will actually, um, if it has images, not add to them, but not delete them. Um, I figured if people had an image already, they had it there for a reason. And I don't want to clutter up your database. It can be changed or you can add an option for it. Um, as you can see, I just nuked all the attributes for it because I'm doing a little demo. So on our drop dropdown, uh, check DB is right under check IMDB. I'm going to go ahead and click that get metadata. The first time it's going to take a moment to load um, as it just creates everything and gets itself in order. Um, then you're presented with some radio boxes with the guest show title and in the season number you have well season and episode you have the guest season and episode which you can change if necessary. Um, there's also a language selection, although it's tied into your Linux MCE installation's language selection, so you wouldn't necessarily have to change it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit search. Hey, Stargate Atlantis. Uh, as you can see, it's identified it as Season 2, Episode 13 that it's found, which matches our file. I kind of left that there just as a quick glance so we wouldn't have to go back and check. Um, left the show synopsis in, although 99.9% .9 of the time it's fairly obvious, but... I leave it to chance. Click select the show. Um, gives us a leaves a description, just basic information about the show, people that are in it, um, any guest stars specific for this episode, and the synopsis for what's happened here on this particular episode. Also includes episode title, show title, all that good stuff. Anyways, clicking confirm will go ahead and add everything that's not there. Um, I tried to go through great lengths to make sure that I wasn't creating duplicate performers or any other attributes. So if these people are in your database somewhere else, then it will associate them with this file as well, as opposed to just creating a dupe. Um, so yes, we've got director, episode number. That was something else I kind of languished over. I didn't want to really have conflicting information, but episode number is helpful too. So uh, episode genres that it's attached to performers obviously we have the program release date I included the season as well as the air date title obviously and this is a little technical information for features coming later um, because we can set up updates anyways going back to file detail um, this TV shows get set whenever you run it um, because I'm assuming it's a television show if you're using the television database as you can see the synopsis is here as well as other information and if I go to my orbiter and cruise on down to Stargate Atlantis and I have no idea what season it was. Two! Scrolling down and critical mass as you can see we have the title the image that we got off the TVDB uh, all the genres that are associated with it you scroll down, you see all the performers and whatnot that are associated with it, as well as the director. Say, if I even chose the director, I could see other things that Mr. Andy Makita directed. Wow, he apparently directed a lot of things. Stargate Universe, among other things. Anyways, um, you get the point. And that is that. So, testers would be nice. I've tested it a lot, but it's mainly on my own file system, so anyone else... I need your assistance. I've tried to guess every combination of sane or remotely sane file convention naming conventions there are, so hopefully uh, it won't be too much of a hassle. Okay, that is all.